Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate it. Cost you nothing. Hey, look, boom. Boss move. Terrence Crawford plans to jump in the ring and demand winner of Canelo versus Charlo. That could happen, right? I think it should happen. What do we normally see happen when you get fighters that really, really make a lot of noise about wanting to fight somebody? A lot of times they end up getting what they want, especially when they bring a lot to the table. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Like Demetrius Andre calling out Canelo. Didn't really work out the way he was hoping, right? But when you look at um, Erez Landy Lara walking up there in the middle of Canelo's post-fight press conference and challenging him to a fight. He got what he wanted. You look at Shane Mosley. Yeah, he ran up in the ring with Bernard Hopkins and and they totally disrespected Floyd Mayweather and demanded the fight. He got what he wanted. And I personally think with the direction Canelo seems to be going, which is, in my opinion, away from the Crawford fight. I think Crawford's going to need to do that. Um, because it's like I said in the comments, going back and forth with uh, some of the teammates on the channel who I've come to develop a pretty good rapport with. The whole world's going to be watching Canelo versus Charlo. All the media outlets are going to be, uh, be, be, be there. Uh, everyone's covering it. TMZ, uh, ESPN, Fox. I mean, international uh, media outlets. If Crawford really wants this fight with the winner of Canelo and Charlo, especially if Canelo wins, he needs to run up inside that ring and let him know. I want to fight you. Because see, Canelo and Charlo, they can't tell Crawford, um, I get nothing from fighting you. Um, you're boring. You fought nobody. Um, you need to go and get your wins up. They can't tell him that. So they'll be put, uh, they'll be put in a pressure cooker. And then people are going to want to see how they respond. And if they don't fight him for some reason, then they're going to say someone putting duck sauce on the fried rice. Now, what I will say is, Crawford getting a fight at Canelo, I think that's a lofty goal. Uh, a fight at Charlo, I think that's a bit more realistic. But I kind of think those two fights are, I just don't know if they're going to happen anytime soon. But what I do know, after listening to Crawford in the interview he did about, you know, 10 hours ago, um, he's looking to try to seal the deal on that damn Canelo fight and then retire. That's really what my man is looking at doing. But I tell you what, if he's going to get in that ring, especially if Canelo wins, right, which I, I, I just don't think that's a foregone conclusion. I think Charlo just could pull off the upset if he keeps it in the center of the ring. Stays long, works behind his jab, dropped a one-two-one, and just basically trying to emulate what Baval did. Um, but he's going to have to have endless stamina like Baval because Canelo uh, is going to stalk, and he's going to throw shots, and he throws hard shots. And if he lands, he can hurt you. Even Mayweather talked about how hard Canelo hit and how his body uh, was feeling. So, so for Mayweather to give somebody credit, uh, that speaks volumes because Mayweather... <laughs> Mayweather doesn't give anybody credit. But he talked about those shots. He's like, hey, Canelo can crack. But if, if Crawford's going to step into the ring and challenge whoever it is that wins, especially if it's Canelo, I think he should get out get out of his comfort zone and maybe go in there wearing a sombrero. You know, maybe he should have a little outfit, a little costume kind of sitting there on the side and being ready to put on whatever he needs to to go up in the ring to really create the buzz needed to make the fight happen. Because I tell you what, Canelo, Canelo ain't going to like that. 
and, and he's going to probably be fueled by the fans, especially the Mexican fans, Mexican fans who are going to demand that he goes in there and knocks out Terrence Crawford because they're going to see it as, they may see it as disrespectful, but at the same time, Crawford doesn't want to be seen as a villain. So he may not go that route, but 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 sometimes, I'm not saying he has to go and throw the flag on the ground like crazy Bernard Hopkins did in Puerto Rico. I'm surprised they ain't uh, make Mufongo out of Bernard Hopkins. Idiot, go out there and throw the flag on the ground. I would never, ever encourage anybody to do something like that. But I think he, he got to do something to get people talking. But that really ain't Terrence Crawford style. He seems to be more cool, sending out tweets, which I, I think that what's going to happen is just like what uh, my boy said in the comments. You, 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 I say Canelo's, I say Terrence Crawford's acting a little bit thirsty. And my boy said, yep, he agrees. And basically that Canelo uh, may lowball him um, because you got somebody out there acting like they, they want to fight so bad, but then you can lowball him, they'll take it. You, Crawford can't expect to get no 50-50 with Canelo. You crazy? But if you keep coming out here, man, acting like I want to fight, to fight next to next fight, to fight, to fight, to fight, Canelo may say, oh, okay, he wanted that bad. Give him a 90-10 split. See see how bad he wants it. Now negotiations are going to be, you know, uh, ridiculous, extremely tormenting, and it's not going to be fun for Crawford. But that being said, I personally think that'd be a boss move. Terrence Crawford plans to jump in the ring and demand the winner. That way the whole world can see. Hey, I put it out there. And the ball's in their court now. You know, whoever wins the fight. Ball's in their court. Don't get mad at me. I can't make them fight me. And especially if Canelo wins, that puts Canelo in the hot seat. But, you know, we got them key decision makers behind the scene over there at PBC. Like what Crawford divulged about Earl Spence. He doesn't feel Earl Spence was ducking him. Earl Spence is the boss, but he pays advisors. And his advisors were advising him, basically, not to fight Terrence Crawford. There was other things, other, he had other options. And Earl Spence trusted their advice. It wasn't until um, Crawford and Spence got on the phone where Spence was the one to say, you know what, let's make the fight happen. But we'll see. Key decision makers behind the scenes probably already have a plan for the winner of Canelo and Charlo. And it may not involve Terrence Crawford. But we'll find out soon enough, won't we? That being said, Crawford, boss move champ, jump in that ring, man. Demand the winner of Canelo and Charlo. Then we're going to see if the real deal starts. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. In the breeze.